Welcome back to the Core Cutters News Tech Lab. Today we're going to be taking a look at five 100% free ad supported streaming services and one bonus one that's free and ad free. We'll tell you which one that is in a little bit. First, though, if you want to learn more about these, check out the show notes down below or in the first pinned comment. I'll put a link to a story we did breaking these all down in writing if you prefer that over our video. But we're going to break these down, show you why I think they're great, why you should be trying these, and more. First though, if you're new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here, so YouTube recommends our videos to more people. Well, let's start off with the top five free apps on the Fire TV with the Roku channel. Now, Roku is a big competitor to the Fire TV. They often fight for the top dominance of most popular streaming player, but Roku channel is a free ad sport streaming service from Roku that is available on a wide range of devices, including the Fire TV. Now with this, you get tons of on-demand movies and television shows. You also get live television, including like Live Feeds um, Ion, Dateline, Little House on the Prairie, ABC News, all kinds of stuff. Murder, She Wrote, the, the list goes on and on. Game show programs, a lot of different ones. And you can bring up a guide mode here to look at different guides, but also a massive catalog of on-demand content. Um, big name stuff, movies like um, Sully, give you an example, plus a bunch of smaller um, independent content, international, Korean dramas is um, very big here with this and other areas. Let's take a look at the categories here. You can see all kinds of stuff, but one of the things that helps Roku channel ex um, stand out, and they're not the only ones that do this, but they have original exclusive content, like the um, weird, the, the weird Al Yankovic story, which was a... Um, Emmy winner in 2023. You got other stuff here. Roku has spent a lot of money to um, invest in original programming, hoping to stand out from many of the other services who don't have this content, which is really nice. So check it out. It's 100% free on um, the Fire TV, the Roku show. I even love how they kind of make it look like a Roku, right down to when you try to exit the app, you get the Roku-like looking menu here. Um, with that. So kind of a nice little touch they did with that. All right, let's jump into the next one. Paramount's Pluto TV is one of the oldest free ad-supported streaming services on the market. It was one of the originals to come out and has outlasted several others from, from time to time. Now with this, you get a ton of content here. Um, you get a channel guide, on-demand, and more. Let's start off with the channel guide to show you what's happening live with this here. So you got different categories. You can break this out like featured movies, the Black Collective, comedies, uh, classic television, sci-fi, and others. So let's just take a look at sci-fi real quick. Multiple Star Trek shows makes sense. It's owned by Paramount. We also got Stargate, Doctor Who 24-7, um, sci-fi overall, Godzilla, and other ones. You get dramas, a bunch of CSI stuff, of course, leaning heavily into the uh, Paramount catalog, but you have others, including um, AMC, NBC Universal, BritBox is on here with some of their content, Baywatch 90210 24-7. You also got a lot of true crime content, Dateline 24-7, American Crimes from NBC Universal, 40 Hours, Unsolved Mysteries, The New Detectives, the list goes on and on. You have so many ones. Let's check out the game shows. I'll be honest, I've kind of fallen in love with the background. If I'm looking for something in the background, Bob Barker's Price is Right has been one of them that I've been watching a lot lately. Huge television lineup, but also a huge on-demand one. They even have a kids mode full of just kid-friendly content. But if you're not looking to just have something in the background, you can go in here and look at all these on-demand movies and television shows here with this. Uh, again, a lot of Paramount content, but a lot of other content. The original Top Gun's in here and others. So classic, newer stuff. It's all mixed together, all 100% free with ads. Check it out. Pluto TV is our second pick for a service you should try out. Oh, I accidentally went one too far. Let's go back to that real quick. All right, scroll down here real quick. All right, Tubi. So we've talked about the Roku channel, owned by Roku, Pluto TV, owned by Paramount. Tubi. Now, this is owned by Fox, not Disney. I get this question a lot. Disney did not buy all of Fox. They bought the studios and some channels. Tubi, Fox News, Fox Sports, and the local broadcast Fox affiliates were not a part of this. Tubi is Fox's ad supporter free streaming service. It's really made a big splash recently, rolling out a lot of content. 
It has hundreds of um, channels in a huge catalog of movies and television shows. A few things that they have is again, some exclusive content, including a, um, every week an NBA G League, their developmental league, a set of games exclusively air on Tubi. You also get a whole bunch of other categories and content. Silent films, look at all these classic silent films on here. I love it when they do this, leaving soon to get an idea. Who here has ever seen a movie or television show and streaming service said, I'll watch that this weekend. And you get there and it's gone because it's the first of a month and they rotate the categories or the content. So this is pretty cool. But tons and tons of stuff. Now you can create an account for all these services. Creating an account allows you to save content to favorites, pick up where you left off, do things like that. You don't need to create an account on any of these that I'm showing you for the 100% free catalog. So the, the content goes on and on. Look at the classic cartoons here. Jetsons, Flintstone, Scooby-Doo, Johnny Quest, other classic television shows, Tom and Jerry. So really nice lineup here. Uh, Tubi being owned by Fox also has the ability here to offer Fox local news for um, your local television show. Now this is not Fox broadcast television news. This is Fox local news with us. So keep that in mind. It's um, nice to have local news in this, but depends where you live. Not all stations may be included. Be aware of that. Speaking of local news though, another one, one of the things I get asked the most is how can I watch my local news if I live in an area where antenna is bad? News on is one of the great options. Haystack news is another. I kind of clump these all together. Um, check out Haystack news and news on. But as you can see here, I have multiple local news, my ABC affiliate here, my Fox affiliate, my CBS affiliate, other ones from all over the country. Look at this. I got Denver, Chicago, New York. I can bounce around and look at different newses from around the country, even around my state, you know, close to me, Lansing, Michigan, South Bend, other areas like Traverse City, I think are on here and more. 100% free live and on-demand local news. Haystack News is another great one. There's a growing number of services that do this. Recommend you check it out. All right, let's um, keep moving along here. Um, Hoopla, now this is the bonus one. Did you know many public libraries, not all, but many, allow you to stream content for free? Movies, television shows, audiobooks, music, even download eBooks depending on their contract. Hoopla and Canopy are two of the largest out there. They get free access. You need to check out your local library. You, link, you go to their website for your local library, should walk you through it, get a free library card. Your taxes are paying for it. Might as well support that library. And then you can stream movies and television. Now there's a, often a cap. You can do like 10 movies or 20 movies or five. It depends on your library, whatever deal they made with the streaming services. I love it for audiobooks. Great way to get audiobooks and listen to them. Hoopla and Canopy are two of the largest. See what your local library has. Nice thing about this, it's free without ads, which is pretty cool. So check it out, Hoopla um, or Canopy. Go to your local library, um, say, hey, I want to sign up for a card, and do you offer any streaming service with this card? You may be surprised what they have to offer. All right, we can't really do, um, oh, we'll update this app layer. You really cannot do a review of free services on the Fire TV without looking at Amazon's own one, which is Freebie. Freebie is Amazon's own streaming one. Apparently it's not wanting to launch. Well, that's okay, we can quickly cover it. Amazon's free uh, V service is Amazon's own streaming service. Now a cool thing here, a lot of Amazon exclusive original content is streaming here, often older seasons, kind of entice you to go subscribe to newer ones. Now Adweek did recently report that Amazon was gonna shut this down. Um, Amazon has come out and flatly denied this. Adweek has not taken this story down. Well, they did acknowledge Amazon's claim. They've kept their story up. This is their sources say, later this year, Amazon plans to shut this service down. We'll see what happens. But check it out. Amazon's freebie has a lot of original content, including Judge Judy. It's a new um, TV show. Uh, Judy Justice, I think it is. That and many other originals helping Amazon's freebie stand out from others because they have content now the others have. And there you go, there are five free ad-supported streaming services you should try and a bonus one with Hoopla. Again, I think the public library is something that cord cutters should take more advantage of. Even if you don't wanna go in to get DVDs or books or whatever, things like Hoopla and Canopy are 100% free and allow you to watch movies and television shows for free through there. 
If you have anything, um, any suggestions, let me know. If you're new here, do me a big favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. Until next time, take care, be safe. I'll be back again real soon.